Hello, in this video we're gonna do the first setup of Motorola Edge 50 Pro. So if you are wondering how we can configure our smartphone when we started for the first time, let me show you what we can do. So the first thing is, of course, we need to power on the device. So over here we have the power button. There we go. This is the power button. We need to press and hold it until we see the Hello Moto text on the screen. There we go. Now let's wait a couple of seconds. And after a short while, we should see this um, this information over here. So the first thing that we can do is choose the language. We can tap on the English text in order to switch to a different language. Of course, we can scroll down to find and choose the language that we want to use. Now, another thing is that we also have vision settings. So we can go there and change the display size and text and so on and so forth. So if you need to do that then go ahead and do just that if you are ready then we can press the start button in order to move forward and now we have the setup using another device option so if you have another device if you have been using another smartphone then you can copy everything uh, from your smartphone from your old one to this new one and whether you want to do that or not you have uh, two options uh, or actually three. So if you have an Android device, then of course you need to choose the Android device. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, then you want to choose iPhone or iPad. If you don't want to do this, you can just press skip over here. And this is what I'm gonna do. So let's skip. Now we can search for the Wi-Fi network and connect to the Wi-Fi. So if you have Wi-Fi at your home, then of course you can connect it, connect over here. Now we will need to wait a couple of seconds in order to um, go to the privacy and software updates. And over here we can decide what we are agreeing to. So we have help improve Motorola products, we have enhanced device support, optimized battery use, which is turned off by default, but we can turn it on. And we also have smart updates, which makes, uh, which makes your uh, device automatically download and install security updates and bug fixes. Uh, if you use Wi-Fi. So after choosing, uh, selecting those um, informations about uh, those privacy and software things, then we can proceed and tap accept and continue. And of course, now uh, we might need to uh, wait a couple of seconds or a minute or two in order to let the smartphone uh, find if there is any update that needs to be downloaded and installed. Now we have network information and let's wait. Oh, there we go. We have more info. After that, we can just sign in to our, our Google account. Um, so we can enter our email or phone, or we can just create an account using this text over here. We can tap on it in order to create a new account, or we can skip this process by just tapping skipped. Uh, skip. If you enter email or your phone number, then you can tap next. So I'm gonna enter my email and then I'm gonna tap next. And of course, if you log in, then you also need to provide your password. So do that and then go next. Then you might need, of course, to verify that it is you. So choose one of the ways to sign in. Then you might have the terms of service uh, by Google. So of course, we need to agree to them. And now we can either download an eSIM card if we want to. Uh, we can also just plug in the SIM card if we have the SIM card, of course, or we can skip the process for now by tapping skip. So for now, I'm going to tap skip, but I'm also going to show you how we can insert the SIM card. So let's skip and let's confirm that we don't want to do that for now. Now we need to set up a pin code. Uh, for security reasons, of course, you can also skip this process by tapping skip over here. I'm just gonna uh, set a simple pin. Let's go. Now we need to re-enter. There we go. Now we can also add our finger fingerprint if you want to, but for now I'm gonna skip this. We can copy apps and data uh, from our Google account. But for now, I don't want to do that. If you want to, then just go and press next. If not, don't copy. 
now we have some information about Google services. So let's go uh, got it. Now we can create device backups um, to our Gmail account. So if you want to do that, then you can just press um, uh, more or just scroll all the way down and we can just accept to those services. So let's go ahead and accept them. Now let's wait a couple of seconds. Now we can choose our search engine. Of course, the most popular one is Google, but if you want to, you can just choose any one of these that you have over here. And then let's go next. Now we can continue to have our device fully configured with Google services, um, but we don't really have to do that for now if we don't want to. If we just go, if you want to go uh, ahead and exit the setup, then we can just leave and get reminders so we can do that later on. So let's just do that. Of course, once again, if you want to, you can just continue and follow the instructions that will be uh, displayed on your screen. I'm going to leave and get the reminder. Now let's wait a couple more seconds. Then you might see some information about Motorola notifications. Uh, so if you want to be informed about some uh, products, uh, launches, events, tips, or software updates and, and so on and so forth, then you can allow these notifications. I don't want to be bothered with these. I'm not really interested in that. So I'm gonna uh, tap not now. And then once again, not now. Now over here, we have, um, we can enter our email address in order to receive once again, exclusive information. So this is pretty much the same, but um, these would be sent to our email. So once again, I don't want that. Let's not sign in. Then we can choose our navigation styles depending on which one you prefer. We have buttons that will be displayed at the bottom of the screen over here, just like we have this arrow here. So we will have two more buttons. Or we can use gestures, uh, which, um, which might be preferred uh, for, um, for other people. And once you choose which one you want to use, then simply select that navigation style and go next. And now we are pretty much done. We can tap finish and we should be able to have access to our home screen. There we go. Now we have let's explore so we can just go ahead and read about tips. We can personalize our home screen if you want to. And we also have some apps. In my case, I don't really want to do that for now. So I'm just going to go to my home screen. And there we go. Now let's wait. We have some favorite apps. I don't really want to install any apps at this moment. And there we go. We have, we finally have reached the home screen. Now I'm also going to show you what we can do in order to enter our SIM card. So if you have SIM card, let me show you how to insert it. All right. So in order to open the SIM card slot, we need to use the pin and that is used in order to open the slot. And the pin should be included in the box so you can find it over there. Now we can rotate our smartphone and over here on this side, we have this, um, this slot, this one is for the, uh, for the SIM card and we need to put the pin inside this hole over here. So let's do that. And then once you are in, you need to push it a little bit until you take out the slot slightly. And then you need to use your fingers in order to take it out completely. Now, once we do that, um, this is how it looks like. So as you can see, it has no memory card slot. Uh, so if you have a memory card, then unfortunately you cannot really use it. This is in the uh, side up and this is where we need to use our uh, SIM card. So over here, I have example SIM card. We need to put this, put this in like so, let's push it down, there we go. And now we need to put this back in. Uh, make sure to do this on this side, like so. Uh, remember that this is the front and let's push it back in. I'm gonna actually use my hand for that. I'm gonna help myself and there we go. Let's push this in and done. Now we should be able to use our SIM card. And that's pretty much it. Now let's turn on our smartphone. Let's go to the home screen 
and we can start using our smartphone, we can start downloading apps and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!